Good afternoon, everyone. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon, Mrs. Blake. <laughs> Lovely to see you all. Um, I just wanted to talk you through the Charanga online, Charanga at home, um, for you to use in school and for children to use at home as well. It basically, um, like we do in school when we have our music lessons, lots of the elements you'll, you'll recognise and um, understand. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packages on owls, kestrels and kites pages. You can go into any of them you like. The listening one's really good to listen to just um, different types of music, to think about those questions if you like it or not, uh, why you like it, not just yes or no, or it's boring. It's got You've got to think of you know, what parts of the song you like and what parts you don't. What type of music is it? What genre? Is it pop? Is it rock? Is it ballad? Is it gospel? Um, the dynamics, um, if, it, if it's loud or soft, the tempo, if it's fast or slow, the pulse, can you find the pulse, the steady beat, beat and all those different uh, parts of music that we've looked at. So, we're going to look at plastic this half term, plastic and I think if you want to have a practice with your tables as well, because you should know them by now, but if you don't, there's some songs in there to help you learn your tables. Plastic. You click on plastic. Welcome to Music at Home. These activities build on the music lessons you've been doing at school, uh, but we're looking at plastic waste. Really, really important at the moment. We're thinking about lots of, I don't know about you, but when I walk down the street, I see lots of plastic masks on the floor, and they're being ending up in the sea, as we know, so we could be thinking about that. So we click on this button on the left to launch our Music at Home, and it talks you through the music at home. They build on the learning you've been doing. There's a video we can watch um, to just introduce the plastics um, topic. Listen and appraising. Those questions that we always think about when we listen to the piece of music, you can think, do I like it? What do I like? What don't I like? What voices can I hear? What instruments can I hear if there are any? Is it um, a steady beat? Does it have, does the tempo get faster? Slower, does it stay the same all the way through, etc. The questions will come up like they do when we're in class. Then a research task you could do, you could investigate the issues around plastic. What are the key challenges facing the environment? What's interesting to you? Which part of it do you like? Do you like looking at the, um, the local area? Do you like looking at the countryside? Thinking about how um, pollution and plastics affect the countryside and animals, that side of it, or the sea? There are lots of different things you could research for that. Then you can learn to sing the song. You can get everyone at home to join in, practice singing in to you know the words off by heart. How can you make each section different? So could you do one section quiet, then get louder for the chorus, and then change your voice for the bridge, the extra part? Um, and then there's a rap. Practice your rapping skills. Some of you I know are really good at rapping. So you can practice your rapping skills, make sure the words are clear and add some attitude. Notice how the words are in rhyming couplets. So at the end of each line, we'll look at the words in a moment. They're rhyming couplets, and then two rhyming couplets make a chorus. You could have a go at writing your own chorus. You could research backs and create your own lines there for the composing bit. You could also write your own verse and bridge if you wanted to. Um, and there's a tongue twister in there, a sailor went to sea, which we'll look at in a moment. Then you can use the backing only to sing the song on your own. So once you've learned the words and you've practiced um, the song a couple of times, you should be able to do sections of it, at least the chorus on your own. If you wanted to make a video, it would be really, really good. You could get that sent to your class teacher and then they can forward it to me. I'd really like to see your own compositions and your performing. Um, so that basically the plastic, and, and again, you wouldn't do this in one lesson. You would take bits of it at a time. So today we're going to watch the video and then we're going to have a listen to the song and see what we think about it. 